So we've come to our final talk for the session, uh, which is Yifei Zhu, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, from Rio's lab. Uh, and the talk is about Green Rio, uh, an analytics five compatible risk five processor from research, again designed with an open source EDA perspective. And Yifei is a doctorate student at Rio's lab um, and uh, working on communication, engineering, computer architecture, and machine learning applications in EDA. Okay, uh, can I start? Okay. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Yi Fei, student of Rio's lab, Tsinghua University. Today, I will share our experience of developing the RACE 5 processor Green Rail with purely open source EDA tools. I think the highlight of our work is that we are trying to answer how far open EDA can catch up with proprietary tools. Can we use the open tool chain to construct a processor? Because since 20 years ago, Intel has successfully developed the three gigahertz microarchitecture in 130 nanometer process. However, as the design complexity of IC design continues to increase, so does the demand on EDA flow. Traditional fabrication methods often require a large amount of margin to build into the design to ensure functional performance, but the adoption of public tool chain and open EDA can recycle this margin by the wisdom of the mass. Because EDA license will no longer serve as the bottleneck to design exploration in this field. We cannot achieve co-optimization of design and tool in commercial mode. Just as the open source compiler GCC or CLOM, they have revolutioned the software development industry. The optimization capability in open tool chain also has potential to transform the hardware landscape. Despite the availability of many existing open RACE 5 implementation, few are designed with open source tool chain in mind. As shown in this table, several designs submitted to open EDA community lack modern processors component. Our self-developed processor Green Rail has emerged as the most complex RISC V architecture among over 600 open MPW submissions. Through, through building Green Rail, we try to optimize the open EDA along with RISC V architecture together and explore every stage of this flow. We hope to build a RISC V processor from scratch. It is a RISC V design fully compatible with the open flow. The growth of chip and tool chain must rely on a real and reasonable design, and only a non-toy-like design instance can facilitate future research in this field. Meanwhile, chiplets and multiphysics provide the answer to the slowing of more slow. I believe open EDA and RISC V community will both contribute to sustainable semiconductor innovation. We hope Green Rail serve as a pioneer of this path. These two tables summarize the feature of Green Rail 1 and Green Rail 2. Green Rail 2 adds more hardware supports, allowing for running applications. We demonstrated Green Rail 1 in the fabulous Open MPW 7 program. Related work were accepted at workshop on open source EDA technology by ICAD as well as the RISC 5 Days Tokyo Autumn. Green Rail 2 has won the ISCC Code Chip Computation. It is becoming a benchmark in the open EDA domain. Next, I will show our experience of open tool chain. One of the challenges that the community face is the gap between, between open and proprietary tools in terms of QR and runtime. So we quantify this gap by hardening green row. 
We used famous open EDA tools, open road and open LAN. We constructed green rules iCache and dcache by the SRAM block compiled by the open RAM projects. Through this experience, we first summarized what amazing we have found in this flow. For the open PDK, the Sky 100A technology left file lacks cut layer, so we have to add it manually. And when doing synthesis, usually we, we need slow library set and fast library set for setup and whole time analysis. But as you can see, even the 40 centigrade cells has the richest corners, it's still not enough for timing optimization, not to mention the 25 centigrade cells just has one case. Besides, the library file doesn't have capacitance table and QRC tag file. Usually, this file provides key parameter for MMS file in NOVAS or ICC. The MMS file is used for simultaneously analyzing and optimizing different time sequence. Also, there are no PG, PG pin on the level shafter cells, but only Synopsys design compiler can recognize such error. And about the two-chain itself, compared to proprietary tools, the miss for complex support for system verilog goes against extensive IP usage. And in general, the logic equivalent check should be performed at the end of each step, but the open MPW projects just do a checking at the end of the whole process. It is called pre-check. But design compiler will report RTO's error, such as mismatch of signal width, but users will keep running and output an incorrect netlist without any notification. That sounds a little dangerous. Also, the e sales stage is still undergoing. multi street acceleration only exists in detail routing. Despite more up-to-date algorithms should be added to this flow, Online user guide is general in proprietary tools, but open road doesn't have it. Okay, here comes the performance part. We used users and ABC versus genius respectively in logic synthesis. We synthesized green real one with eight SRAM macro running at 80 megahertz. Users perform four kinds of strategies corresponding to error and delay optimization and we use the default setting of Genius. Users doesn't do clock chatting at all, but Genius does. I plotted this data as histogram. Let's see the first three image. For the same design, the proprietary two can provide netlist with smaller error, less gate count, and lower leakage power. Maybe its closed source algorithm contribute a lot to circuit simplification and clock gating is an effective way to save power. But surprisingly, there are three synthesis strategies of uses bring about faster synthesis solutions. And for the timing, the delay driving optimization in uses is very effective. Even we can get time convergent netlist without any additional adjustment. For the physics implementation, we utilize open road and novas respectively, both input netlist generated by users for fairness. And we hardened green rail with one core and did routing with eight cores. We found that open road cannot fit all cells over 50% core utilization. If so, higher, core ut higher cell density will lead to routing congestions but Innovas can make it and generate smaller layout. <clears throat> Besides, proprietary two can achieve 75% of the wireless of the open ones. Although the runtime of open two is inferior to that of Innovas, but it has potential in multi thread acceleration. So let's look into the detail of runtime. Open Road spent most of his time in routing, but Innovas put more effort in placement. Maybe the later one sounds more reasonable, because in general, a scientific placement can lead to either routing congestions, can lead, can, can lead to either routing convergence, sorry. 
For the time allocation of open road, detailed routing is the most time consuming task. We noticed that the open rotor in open road Triton route has not been updated over two years. That may be a little out of date. Besides, the placement engine in open road is replaced. Recently, we have also seen so many published algorithms have defeated. So maybe we can try to integrate them into, the, into open road in the future. We also found users cannot generate net list with correct hierarchical information. Even it, has already, even it already has an option called hierarchy. Somehow, it will ignore some module with macros, or you need to harden one module first, then harden another. Using such netlist without hierarchy can lead to confusion when visualizing the final layout. We don't know what happened in these seal groups. And as you can see, Open Road and Innovas do macro placement differently. If we use the netlist generated by design compiler, we can get to know the detail of different modules by Innova's design browser. <laughs> the process of hardened green rail has revealed the convergent difficulty in the open chip flow. So we are trying to bring about higher quality solutions. For better error, timing, and shorter wireless, we try to we have optimized Flutune, a machine learning based decision making frame, decision making framework to open road for synthesis optimization. And for better user experience, we gathered a comprehensive list of user problems that arise during program execution, and we built a solution-inspiring error lock system, giving solution hints when the program encounters errors. We won the excellent effort reward in the Open Road 7 nanometer contest for these two contributions. The RIS-5. <coughs> The RIS-5 and open the RIS-5 and open source ecosystem reduce the barrier to the silicon world. Designs and fabrication fabrication flow complement complement each other and grows together. We believe we can customize chip with a small amount of work in the future. We can leverage the power of open source community to collectively push the frontier of hardware innovation. Our lab will keep iterating green rail, keep narrowing the gap between open and proprietary backend software. Nowadays, AI-based ASIC is becoming a popular topic. This field includes fancy algorithms and general open source datasets. We will also devote ourselves to sustainable development for RISC V VOSI CAD. Just like ChatGPT in NLP field, in future, ultimately, we may realize using machine to design architectures. Okay, thank you for your time. It's my pleasure to present you, present for you. Thank you. So thank you very much, especially for the, the in-depth overview of the status of uh, Open Media Tools. I know a lot, of our, uh, a lot of our listeners are very much interested in that. And with that, so this was the, the last regular talk of the program. Um, I'm inviting Calista and Christian up here for the closing remarks for the conference. <laughs>